Have you ever been working with straight strips of fabric, whether they're pre-cut so you know that they are straight and they're all the same width, like in this roly-poly, or maybe you've cut your own strips and you sew them together only to discover that they start out straight. See how that's on that line? And then as they go, all of a sudden, look at this. It's totally bent and curved. That's really gonna mess up a project. Same thing is happening with this one, which is a bit longer but there are things that you can do to ensure that everything stays straight. So let me give you a few pointers and then you can figure out what is going to work best for you. So let's talk about your machine. How clean is it? And in particular, how clean are your feed dogs? This is the part that is going to be moving to help your fabric move. So if it is stuck full of lint and other fuzz, it is not going to work as well. So whenever you're doing straight strips, I highly recommend you open your machine and get that all cleaned out. And you might as well just clean out the rest of it too with your little brush before you get started. There are lots of theories about how long you can use a needle in your sewing machine, but if you're ever having issues, I recommend changing out your needle. It's a pretty simple way to make sure your project doesn't come out wonky. My next recommendation is to use a walking foot if at all possible. So with your sewing machine, you have these little feed dogs down here, right? These little teeth that move back and forth as you sew and they help to move the fabric. Now a walking foot basically adds another set of those, but from the top, it's a little foot that comes down. That in combination with the feed dogs on the bottom helps both of those fabrics move more evenly. So that can really help you get good results as well. The next thing I recommend is changing your stitch length. Most machines are set to an automatic 2.4, 2.5 stitch length. I recommend turning that to a 2.0 or even a 1.8 stitch length. What that is going to do, it's going to have the needle go into your fabric much closer with each stitch. That means your feed dogs are gonna be moving your fabric less with each stitch and that all adds up as you go along a really long strip. Also make sure you're being very, very consistent with your seam. That's why I like to use this quarter inch foot because then I can just run it right along the edge as I'm sewing the strips together and make sure that that is coming out correct. Because obviously one thing that's gonna mess up straight strips is if you're not sewing straight. Also think about how quickly you are sewing. Sometimes you think, oh, this is straight. I can just let her rip, go as fast as I can but that often causes a little bit of shifting with your fabrics. So going a little bit slower and steady is going to give you better results when you're doing strips of fabric and you really, really need them to stay straight and not start bowing one from the other. If you're having issues, also pay attention to what kind of fabric you're using and the quality of it. Try and use the same brand if possible. So this is a Riley Blake fabric. This is a different fabric that I got somewhere else. I can feel that it is a very different weight than this fabric. It's a lot thinner, it's a lot more stretchy. When I'm sewing these two together, my guess is this one is going to react differently to the stitching than this one. So if you can keep your fabric consistent, you're gonna have better results in sewing those strips together. Let's just look at a few strips of fabric and I'm just gonna explain how you're gonna do this. So these are all straight and they are all the same size, but we don't want them to end up bowing like the first set of strips that we looked at. So what you're going to do is you're going to always put them right sides together and then you're gonna start from one end and you're gonna sew this way. Then you're going to press that open and you're gonna leave it on the ironing board until it cools. So you can use a quilter's clapper, something like this to kind of press and get the heat out of there so it's faster or just leave it for a few seconds so that it cools. Now pretend that that's sewn together. We're just talking about how this is working at the moment. Then when you take your next strip, you're going to put it right sides together. And instead of sewing from the same end that you started with, with the first two strips, you're gonna start from the opposite end and you're gonna sew this direction. Sewing each strip in an opposite direction helps it not pull as much and you're gonna get a much straighter situation when you are done. Now there are some things to do when you are pressing between your strips that can help your success as well. Before you even press it open, you don't wanna just go from your machine and do this. Take a second and do an extra step of pressing the, the stitching before you ever open it up. So you're gonna apply a little bit of heat 
And then I'm going to put this tailor's clapper down, which is basically a big piece of wood. If you haven't seen me use that before, that helps to both absorb the heat and also flatten those stitches. Every little thing can help with your precision, especially when you're doing long strips, it's super important. So that flattens down any space that it was in between those stitches. Then you're going to lift and you can either do another step where you're just kind of heating the edge like that and then pushing that over or you can push that over and press. And then we are going to hit that with the tailor's clapper again, just to keep that fold down. As you work, you also want to press all of your seams in the same direction. That is going to help everything flow and stay even. So you can't really tell as much on this side, but on this side, you can see that I have pressed them all this way. So here's a perfect example where I've put together a lot of different strips of fabric, and especially when some are super tiny, it is really, really important to make sure you keep all those seams pressed in the same direction, maybe sewing in different directions so that these stay nice and straight for the project. So I hope these tips help you and help you have beautifully straight pieced strips for your next project.